Demon Fang! There! You're mine! One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between Dana and Rena. The two worlds have finally joined and literally merged into one. A single planet now exists, teeming with all six elements, as it always should have. With a new world comes a new set of problems. Unprepared for the changes thrust upon them, Danans and Renans now find themselves forced to live side by side. And though the initial chaos of the Great Convergence has faded, the people of this new world are realizing that some scars are not so easily healed. So, our journey continues. There she is! Don't let her get away! After her! Way. Right! <laughs> She's gone. There's no way. She's gotta be nearby. Find her! The weather is so nice today. It's a shame we can't enjoy it with all these Zoogles around. Stay alert, Shia. Danger could be lurking in the shadows. <laughs> I could say the same to you. If you get injured, it's going to hurt now, you know. So, the mausoleum is somewhere around here? That's what I heard. We'll have to get more details from Bayfon when we meet up with him in the city. I wonder if the others have already arrived in Nias by now. It'll be good to see them again. It's been so long since we were all together. Hmm? Hey, you! Did you see a Renan brat around here? You're looking for a child? A Renan? Yeah, that's right. And get this. That kid is the daughter of a lord! A lord? Hey, wait a sec! That there on your back... Is that... No mistake, it is! You're THE Blazing Sword, aren't you? <sighs> oh, he is! Talk about Lucky! Lucky? What do you mean? Even if she's just a kid, she's still the daughter of a Renan Lord. But if we've got you with us, we'll have nothing to fear. Sorry, but I can't help. Hey, you gotta be kidding me, man! She's a Lord's daughter! They're your enemy, right? 
You're the Blazing Sword. It's just common sense that you'd help us. Come to think of it, rumor has it he's been traveling with some bright eyes chick. Wait, is that why? And what if it is? Is that a problem? Forget about it. Let's get out of here. A lord's daughter, huh? I wonder whose. Regardless of who it may be, it doesn't make chasing her down okay, now does it? You're right, of course. Let's go find her before anyone else does.
Get back! Let's get this over with. Yeah, I'm worried about that girl. Ready! Reload! Double demon fang! Back into the fray! Vacuum blade! By the power of water! Take this! We got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Flight. All yours! Void blast! Here I come! No escape! Back into the fray! Mega ray! Void blast! Gemini Ultra! Beat to the punch! I may as well take the rest! Double Demon Fang! If it's in the sky, it's mine! Take this! By the power Double of Double Demon Fang! Vanish without a trace! Here I come! I'm not done! Explosion! Stardust! Do it! Chill. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? <clears throat> You're the daughter of a lord, aren't you? <sighs> you can relax. We'd heard people were after you. Sort of Dana? Is there any way we can help you? Why? What do you mean? You're being chased, aren't you? I'm fine. Don't worry. Okay, but it's dangerous to be out here all alone. Won't you at least come with us to Nias? That's where I got kicked out of. Bayfon should be in Niez, right? I want to know what's going on. If you come with us, I'm sure we can get this straightened out. If we go our separate ways, we won't cause each other any problems. Problems? What kind of problems? Why? We just want to help. Isn't that enough? We help people. It's who we are. You may think we're weird, but it's true. I'm Shion. This is Alfin. Nazamil. Nazamil? Is that your name? Uh, hey! We're going to Niaz, aren't we? Uh, right. Nice to meet you, Nazamil. Driving out a child? Just because she's Renan? Racial tensions still run deep here. But that doesn't mean we're giving up, right? Right. Of course.
What's this thing? Right, here goes! Here I By come! The power of blade. Ignite! Stand without a threat! Double demon fang! Raining slap! My turn! Explosion! I'm not done! Hear me! Flame of... Burning! This could be useful. Right, here goes! You picked the wrong fight! Do it! Great. Next! These Here little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them Here apart to your heart's content. Raining Double demon fang! Destruction! Do it! Still. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! With your flames and my technique, we're stronger together than we are apart. Nazamil, get back! Don't worry, Strike. it'll be over soon. Little Double breath. demon fang! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. What's this thing? What happened in the S, Nasmil? <clears throat> don't worry. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. What's this thing? Hey, didn't we find a recipe that... Yeah, we can use this for it. That's what I like to hear. What's this thing? What's this thing? Right, here 
you go! Blue away! By the power Try harder! My turn! Blue away! Blue away! Raining Splash! Blue away! Raining Splash! Lunar Corruption! Turbo Demon Fang! By the Be power still. of water! Raining Phoenix! Lightning! Looks like it could be worth something. What's this thing? Shion! Shion! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. It has. You're both looking well. Never been better. Well, just talking about us, though. There's apparently some trouble in town. Kisara, Dohalim. The gang's all here. So, what's this trouble you mentioned? Renans have returned to the city, living alongside the Danans here. There were a lot of vacant houses after the mess with Almadria, right? Some refugees from Lenegas have taken up residence in them. Bayfon decided to take them in, but not everyone has been so welcoming. That's putting it lightly. The situation's a bit of a powder keg. The smallest spark could set it off. So Renans do live here. If that's the case, then why... Oh! Who's that? This? This is Nazamil. I'm Rinwell. And this here is Hoodle. Nice to meet ya. Woo! Some Danans from around here are after her. Because her father is a lord. A lord? I see. So she draws more attention than your average Renan, then. We've brought her along so we can at least figure out what's going on. Plus, there's the mausoleum issue. Let's go see Bayfon. You see, we were actually just there, but he's out and we couldn't meet with him. Then... For now, how about we take Nazamil to the area where the Renans live? Huh, not a bad idea. You okay with that, Nazamil? <sighs> hmm? Nazamil. I'm Kisara. I hope you'll feel free to talk to me anytime. I am Dohalim Ilkaris. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Dohalim? The Lord? Former Lord. These days, I am simply the man you see before you. Nothing more. I'd hardly say you're nothing more. <laughs> what a nice breeze. I bet laundry would dry in a jiffy. <laughs> For sure. To be honest, I never really liked how windy it is here, but if I think of it as drying people's laundry, it's a little easier to see it in a positive light. Indeed. Kisara has always had a knack for finding the positive, even in everyday things. Uh, I was just sharing a thought I had, that's all.
As I recall, there's a recipe we've yet to try. Yeah, this is the last ingredient we need. Then let's go ahead and prepare it. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Hey, that looks... Pretty good. What's this thing? Good to see you guys, but with the city being so on edge, it's hard to relax. The Renans and Danans here don't trust each other. This place is a far cry from Vicent. What about Pelegian? You took in most of the refugees from Lenigus, didn't you? I've settled them on different levels of the city, 
so contact between the two cultures is minimal. Better to gather all the Renans in one place to avoid unnecessary conflicts, huh? And with the Lord guy here in charge, no one can do anything too crazy. Come on, he's carrying out his duties as the Renan representative. But if that's true, are you sure it's okay to leave the city? Fortunately, I have people there I can rely on. Leaving for a short while shouldn't be a problem. And Kisara, you're the captain of those new troops in Vicent, right? That's right, the Service Corps. We're made up of former members of the Guard and armored soldiers. We serve as the people's shield in the new era. I'm not used to teaching so many new recruits, but I'm managing somehow. Rinwell, you're in Vicent too, aren't you? Is your nose still stuck in a book all the time? Uh, yep. There are too many books to read, so I always end up cooped up at home. Hey, you go out sometimes, like when you're investigating the ruins. You seem to know a lot about it. Oh, uh, not really. It's just that sometimes I guard caravans as part of the Crimson Crows, you know? So whenever I stop by Vicent, I pop in to help with stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, what have you been up to, Alfin? Are you and Xion still traveling around as usual? Yeah. I don't feel ready to settle down in one place just yet. Xion? Sorry. It's been a while, but it doesn't feel like anyone's changed, you know? You're right. It really feels like the old days. <sighs> I know we've got a lot of catching up to do, but... Nazamil must be getting bored by now. You're right. Sorry, Nazamil. I don't mind. I wonder what the Renans here were doing when Nazamil was being chased down. She doesn't seem too excited to see them. You think they had something to do with it? I'm not sure. It's possible. What's this thing? So from the Renan's perspective, I'm some kind of terrible destroyer. Accepting their definition ignores all the good you've done. Don't forget what you were fighting for. A year ago, on Lenigus, I called for solidarity. However, things have not gone as I had hoped. The divisions brought by class and race are similar, but not quite the same. Nazamil? What are you doing back here? Away with you! You don't belong here. How many times do we have to say it? How could you say such a thing? She's a Renan just like you, and a child at that. Hmm. If it isn't the Blazing Sword, the very person who destroyed our society, you're one to talk. You Renans value lineage and social standing, don't you? Nazamil is the daughter of a lord. Her father was a lord, yes. He was the esteemed Lord Urwagil Hildris, the former water lord. Urwagil, the lord who preceded Volron. But that girl's mother is just some embedded nobody! Her mother is a Danon? 
the blood of a glorious lord mixed with that of a lowly slave. It's repugnant. That girl is no Renan. Every one of us here agrees on that. Hey! <sighs> Bastards just spewed their hatred and left. The child with both Danon and Renan blood. Is that even possible? In the old world, I'd heard rumors that it happened on rare occasions, but not of any children that reached her age. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Why didn't you say something, even though you knew it would be painful? It was too much to explain, and I'm in no pain. But it's wrong to judge someone because of how they were born. Let's go back to look for Bayfon. It's better than staying here. You said you weren't in any pain, but is that really true? Why do you ask? Is it possible you just got used to the pain? I can't remember. Nazamil is Erwagil's daughter. Did you know him? We were acquaintances, but we never saw eye to eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought there were way fewer extremists around these days. Guess I was wrong. You mean like Almadria? Her views certainly weren't unusual at the time, and now it seems a whole new crop of discontents have appeared. How depressing. Bayfon! Well, look who it is. It's been a while, hasn't it? Huh? Nazamil. Huh. Thank goodness you're safe. So, some of the refugees we took in from Lenigus knew of Nazamil's identity, huh? The situation in Niez is delicate, to say the least. 
so I thought it would be better if I sent her to Besint. I guess some unhappy residents went after her before she could make it there. Yeah, that's why I went looking for her as soon as I found out. It's fortunate that you found her first. I would just send her off on her way, but she may be attacked again. Yes, that is true. However, it would be just as dangerous for her to stay here, too. Well, okay then. Why don't we escort her to Vicente ourselves? But what about while we're at the mausoleum? Things being as they are, she can't just wait around here. <laughs> or we could take her with us to the mausoleum. It's dangerous to send her off, and it's dangerous for her to stay. She'll be safest with us there to protect her. I'm fine with protecting her, but doesn't the mausoleum have its own dangers? You're right, that is a concern. However, with all of us there, I think we'll be okay. Sounds good to me. After all, it's better to stick together than split up. We can head back to Vicent after we finished at the mausoleum. Is that okay with you, Nazamil? Sure. Just where is the mausoleum anyway? In the ruins at Adan Lake. It's pretty deep in, so you'll need to be cautious. It's easy to forget in Menencia, but the enmity between Danans and Renans still runs deep. Hearts and minds cannot change as quickly as circumstances. We must be patient. I guess that's a mature way of looking at it. Yeah! Huh? Hey! All right! Just a minute. Say what?! Just great. Yeah! The smallest spark could set these Danons and Renans against each other. Glad we managed to extinguish this one early. Just thinking about how tense the situation is makes me anxious. It is a deep-rooted issue that will not easily be solved. True. It will need to be dealt with eventually. And we have to do whatever we can to see it through. in dire need. How? All right? <sighs> 
Well... Hmm. Okay. Alfin. Running out of food is a serious issue, no matter the reason. No one should have to stop eating before they're full. That hits a bit different coming from you. Let us resolve this matter with haste. Looks like we get to sleep with a room. Roof over our heads. Really, just spend that much money? A Don Lake? Gonna be tricky with all those giant zoogles running around. Oh? I would have assumed you'd be itching for an excuse to fight them. Well, you know, I'm a bit more of a grown-up now. I don't think that's something actual grown-ups say. What? You're...
What? Sorry. Hmm. Yeah! Hey! Okay. <laughs> w what? Hmm? He only acted strange when he was talking to Rinwell. But it seemed to me that his attitude had changed a little. Yeah. He was missing that sense of ill will he had before. Well, I don't mind if you don't. I wonder if something happened. Finally! W what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. Yeah! Huh? You're... Mom! 
Mahabar is quite an impressive man. He's gone from being a tool of the Renans to having his own boat, as well as the people's adoration. When his ship got sucked down into the sea, I was sure he was a goner. It was such a relief to find out he's okay. A captain's got to be tough as nails if he wants to lead his crew. the Zoogle we you were told to dispatch. Ow! Come on! Back to the the Glad you have your use I'll show you how you like it be. Easily be faithful. Just as well, I'm here to stop you. Pesky airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours oh, truly. God. I'm all Zero. fucked up! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! my precision improving. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Is that the Zugul we're looking for? Zoogles by now, right? It should be safer for a while. All right, let's report back to Mahabar's crew. Let's refrain from losing. Complacent.
Let's go! All right! Hmm... <laughs> okay! What? There's something liberating about sea travel. Mahavar and his crew seem so free. I think you'd make a great sailor, Law. I'd probably enjoy sailing as well, if I didn't get so seasick. They say the mausoleum is deep inside the Adon Lake ruins. Stay close, Nazimil. I'll be fine. Get lost! Can't get out of this! Let's give it a whirl! Run, run, run. 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 Storm! So let's kill them! Right this ends Consider yourself finished! There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Looks like we've gathered all the materials Torben requested. Shall we then? Nice. This will be a delicious piece of cake! Point black! Strike! Make water Point black! Point black! Point black! Now! Strike. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! What's this thing? This will be a delicious piece of cake! Take this! Take it! Oh, oh, no escape! I'm not done! Take this! Thunder it's face. a win! The waters of creation are oh, 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 They're above us. Shion, you know what to do. It's oh, my turn, is it? I'm on it. Yeah. Go oh, get him, Shion. Let's get it. These little ones yeah. are hardly You're worth mine. our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart for your heart. Rising Falcon. Well, looks like there's nothing wrong with my equipment. That's a relief. Alfin always acts like that when it comes to weapons and stuff. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Huh? I... what? How do I act?
All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? An opponent like this should be easy. Hear me! Oh, oh, not in your dreams! You Burning must get strike. Inferno Punch! Breaking oh, Storm! Where would that came from? Oh. Oh. Now! Ripper. Astral Energy! Say no more! Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. <laughs> Guess we don't know our own strength. You could say that again. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Right, here goes! The will here I come! Burning yes. Burning 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 come and face me! We did it! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Pesky airborne scoundrels! Sounds like a job for you, truly! Ignite! This is it! Do it! We did it! As impressive as always. Ah, here I hope that will bring you. No, I, I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Tian actually look closer. Do it! Do me! In an instant! Impact claw! I think we've taken out enough Zoogles, don't you? I agree. Let's report back to Nies. Oh, y you know, don't you think we're running a little low on food? I guess we are. Looks like there's a place to fish over there. Oh, what do you know? I'll go catch us some dinner. You could have just said you wanted to fish. Mausoleum is just up ahead, huh? Careful. There might be Zoogles around, so... Uh... What? Oh, that wasn't you? Then... Are you hungry? No, I... I that wasn't... <laughs> it's perfectly normal for your stomach to growl when you're hungry. It's nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about. As long as it's not you, I guess. What was that? Uh, nothing. It's not a good idea to take on a mausoleum on an empty stomach. Why don't we eat first? Great idea, Alfin. Oh, it's been a while since I last had Kisara's cooking. We're not putting it all in Kisara. We're going to cook together. Really, I'm not... It seems everyone's in the mood to cook. If it's not too much trouble. 
We'd love for you to join us. Mm. I had an idea for something we could make with what we have on hand, but it looks like I'm still short on a few ingredients. Luckily, I think we can find them around here. No problem. Let's start looking. Nozomiel, do you have any foods you particularly like or dislike? Um... Not really. Nothing in particular? That would make you a lot easier to deal with than a certain somebody. Hey! Don't act like I'm a picky eater! No one said she was talking about you. It's been a while since we all ate together. I'm looking forward to this. That's fine. Just don't make anything spicy. I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> Play nice with Hoodle, okay, Nazamil? Has he always been your pet? We've been together for years now. But he's more like family than a pet. Family. Maybe it. It's time I try on something new. For? Oh, wait! It's right here! What's this thing? Well, that's strange. I wasn't expecting us to find a teleporter while looking for ingredients. I wonder where it leads. Regrettably, it looks like this one's target coordinates were never set. Until someone enters a destination, it's useless. Hmm. It's weird to find a teleporter out on its own like this. <laughs> Nazumi, everything okay? What is that? Some kind of decoration? Looks like a Denon relic. This is a land full of ruins, so it's not at all unusual. That looks familiar for some reason. I'm sure I've seen it before. Hmm. That's right! It's a good luck charm! I saw an illustration in an old book once. Does it have some kind of special power? Nah, nothing like that. This is the sort of thing you give to your family, or someone special, so you can feel connected with them, no matter how far apart you may be. I guess the way people express their feelings is the same now as it was back then. I don't need it. I don't have anyone like that. Well, in that case, can I hold on to it then? Sure, I don't care. Okay. Why don't we head for the campsite and start cooking? We've got all the ingredients, so now it's time to show everyone what I can do. Isn't this exciting, Nazamil? Huh?
We should stop to have a meal, for Nazimil's sake as well. Good not to have to scrimp and save anymore. You planning on buying something to celebrate? Nothing in particular. Honestly, I'm just glad we won't have to go hungry anymore. Try not to gorge yourself to overcompensate. Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. I'm stuffed. It's nice eating with everyone like this, don't you think? Indeed. It feels so liberating to relax under this beautiful sky. Moments like these are priceless. Especially given how much you've been cooped up in your office lately. You've earned a break. <laughs> hey, you okay? You don't look too good. Are you feeling sick? I'm fine. It's just that it's a little uncomfortable. I've almost never eaten with others. Oh, because both Danins and Renans. Well, what about your family? I don't know anything about my mother. I've never met her. What about your father? My father would only visit when he needed me for something. And when he did, he would yell and beat me. The other members of my house did the same. Wh what? So no, we didn't share meals. Well then, I... That makes us the first. Huh? Let me tell you a secret. You see, when you eat with people you're close to, it always makes food taste that much better. Why is that? Hmm. That's a good question. I suppose it's because when we share the same food, we're also sharing the joy of it. Not only that, conversations are more lively when you're eating good food, too. Food tastes better when it's shared. There's more to a meal than simply filling your stomach. And knowing that is part of what motivates people to cook a good meal. Um... Mm -hmm. The food was really good. <laughs> Let's eat together again, okay? Mm. Our bellies are full, so now let's burn off those calories by finding the mausoleum! Uh, take this seriously, would you? Nazimil's going to get tired of your stupid jokes. Jeez, I wasn't even joking! <laughs> this is what we were asked to get, wasn't it? We've gathered enough food supplies. Now to deliver it to the Renans and Niez. You know... There's something about Nazamil that reminds me of Dohali. She's... Elegant. Yes! Exactly! My family was strict about manners. N no surprise there. Your father being a lord. La, you can be so insensitive sometimes. I don't mind. My house is gone now anyway. That was back on Lenegas, right? When did you come down to Dana? When my father joined the crown contest as a lord, we came down together. Oh yeah, Ganeth Harrow's, right? But didn't Voron... <clears throat> Why are you asking anyway? Why? The more we know about each other, the quicker we can become friends, right? Is that how all of you became friends? I suppose so. Getting to know each other is an important step in learning to understand one another. It can be difficult to trust a stranger, but once you understand them better, you can move toward becoming friends. Still, why don't we change the topic to something more cheerful? I... don't know any cheerful topics.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Okay. Yeah. Torben really gave me a lot of courage. Right. Some people like him actually try to understand mages. And I think a lot of that is thanks to your efforts, Rinwell. <laughs> Someday everyone has a proper understanding of magic. to rest here now. Gotcha! <laughs> Say what?! can change too. Seeing his mind change like that, it gave me hope that we're making progress, little by little. Well, well, Law. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> what can I say? I'm wise beyond my years. Yeesh. Don't be so humble. Though, I guess you have been a bit more reliable lately. Yes.
Hm? Good. That was splendid work, Dohalim. To resolve a conflict like this, all parties involved need to recognize their unconscious biases. Stepping in and presenting the facts from an outside perspective can help people change their way of thinking. We learned about each other by working together, too. The people of Niez will also see eye to eye someday. Just have to trust in that. We'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. While we were eating, that you have really good table manners, Nazamil. Is that something you were taught on Lenigus? Yes. I had to memorize everything. I'd get hit if I made a mistake. Oh. might go well in that new recipe. Could be useful. Can I ask you something? What I am. It doesn't bother you at all? What, the thing about your parents? I mean, sure, it was a little surprising, but we're not really ones to talk when it comes to being unusual. He's right. We are a rather strange group, all things told. Exactly. For example, I'm Danon, but I'm also part of a mage clan that can use astral arts. Dohalim here is a Renan lord who prefers poetry over power. So... Is that why you're with the Blazing Sword? With Alfin? Because you're different from others? I suppose I appreciate how he embraces our... eclectic natures. But that is not the only reason. 
We all have our differences, big or small. The question is, how we look at those differences. What about Alphen and Xion? In terms of different, those two are in a class all of their own. They're especially unique. But in the end, we see each other as fellow human beings. And when it comes down to it, all our differences are insignificant compared to that. In other words, the way we see it, you're really not that different from the rest of us, Nazamil. So I'm sure we can be friends. <laughs> friends? Yeah. That's not your run-of-the-mill enemy. Yikes! Don't make eye contact with it! I have a bad feeling about this. Rain slash! The earth throbs in pain. Rain slash! Super cool away! All finish you here and now! Aim for the weak side! Away! Sorry, it's my fault. Come on, should be able to fix you every no time, though. Oh, so that's how it is. I guess when you're fighting together, you really... Rely on Shion, huh? Yeah. I can't kind of let my guard down knowing you've all got my back. Gotta get it together. I let you all down. Not 
You guys want to rest here? You can never be too prepared. if you don't treat yourself now and again. Life is unpredictable. The more you have saved, the better. Aw, listen to you, Kisara. I told you you were the team, Mom. Thanks to you, I was able to rest easy.
can't stop here. You're right. We should keep moving. While being careful, of course. People lived here long ago. <laughs> What's wrong? Having someone to share my thoughts with is... strange. Is. Payphone was right. This is a mausoleum? Yeah, that's what we call them. They were originally built on Rena. And now they're here. Since Dana and Rena fused together a year ago, most of them are underground. But sometimes you can find one above the surface, like this. We got back together so we could deal with them. We don't know what kind of machines or zoogles might be inside. Make sure you stay close to us. Okay, got it. It doesn't look like anyone's gone up ahead. Then let's go. Stay close to us, Nazimil. Walking together like this, it's like we're back in the old days. The old days? It's only been a year. But after the battle with the Great Spirit, so many things have happened. A lot has changed. Great Spirit. Is it true it's the collective will that manifests from all the astral energy within a world? Yes. Rena's great spirit manifested a will of its own and engineered the conflict between Dana and Rena. Together, we fought it one year ago. In the end, Alfin's power defeated the great spirit, allowing its astral energy to finally become one with Dana's. And now, with the great spirit no longer influencing the Renan people, our two cultures finally have a chance to unite as well. So all of that is something that the Blazing Sword that Alfin did? He's the reason the world is the way it is now? I mean, he's the one who did it, but it's more like it's this way because it was always supposed to be. The problem is, instead of seeing this as a new world, both Danans and Renans think that Dana just absorbed Rena into itself. I mean, that is what it looks like, so I get the confusion. Rena disappears, then there's all these Renan buildings popping up everywhere hollowing in that sky? It's a difficult situation. The Renans lost their home when Lenigus collapsed, and the Danans feel like they're being invaded by all the resulting refugees. Most Renans are currently living in Pelegion, but there are some who have traveled outside Ganatheros to settle in other regions and Danan cities. In some cases, like in Niez, accepting them in has resulted in tensions. And then the mausoleums are a problem as well. Guess the only thing that hasn't changed is the wandering Zoogles. Even Zoogles aren't the same. They're more violent than before, probably due to the merging of the worlds. As you can see, we still have a lot of issues to deal with. But we're trying to solve them as best we can. I see. 